think that the number one myth about cremation is that you're not receiving your pet back, that it could be some other pet's ashes or not even ashes at all. And we take precautions here at our facility to make sure that it is your pet you're getting back and every cremation we perform is individual. Uh, the number one assumption is, is my pet's remains going to be mixed with other pet's remains? And our answer is no. We in privately um, cremate them individually, um, so they are by themselves inside the cremator with no other pet. Yes, that they do not receive 100% their pet's ashes back. I go ahead and explain that we have a metal ID tag that stays with their pet through the entire process. So it goes with them from every step of the way. It will go from us doing the ink paw prints just to going in the cremation to coming out of the cremation. It stays with them through every step of the way to guarantee that it is their pet's ashes. What happens if the urn spills? I think Hollywood has created an image that, you know, I'm sure everyone's seen a scene where an urn tips over and then ashes just go flying everywhere. And that's not really the case. At least for us, we always contain the ashes uh, in a sealed bag before they go into any urn. So there should never be any accidents. Um, and all the urns that we have are safe to open and we don't ever permanently seal an urn unless requested by a, by a family. Another myth, um, I think, is... Um, gosh, I had a few on my list and I totally blanked. 